Okay. Walk, walk, walk. Just sit behind a cup, a stack of cups. It doesn't matter what color. It can be your team color. It can be another color. It doesn't matter. But you want to be facing this table, all right? Because what we're going to do tonight is really quickly, I want to teach you guys a little bit about sports stacking. Everyone say sports stacking. Sports stacking. Sometimes it's called cup stacking, but it's actually a sport. So its official name is called sports stacking. So you need three cups in front of you in a stack like this, all right? So take three cups, put them in a stack, and put them right in front of you, all right? Now you might think you know how to stack three cups, but I'm gonna teach you a super secret fast way to do it because we're gonna be doing some games in Awana that will help you to be faster. But let me tell you, please be gentle with these cups, all right? Because we don't want them to crack. And if you're rough with them, if you squish them or something, then they start to stick. And sticky cups don't stack fast. All right? So put a stack like this right in front of you, all right? And then put both hands in the air just like this, all right? Now, watch. Everybody see my cups right here? I'm going to show you how not to stack while you have your hands in the air. Okay, what a lot of people do is they go, ah. Was that fast? No. No, I was moving fast, but that was not fast, all right? It was sloppy, and sloppy makes you slow, all right? The other thing people do is they just use one hand. Is that fast? No. No, well, it's kind of fast for me, but the best way to do it is don't worry about being fast. Worry about doing it right. You're going to use both hands. So listen very carefully. Do exactly as you do. You're going to pretend like you're looking in the mirror, and you're my mirror, and you're going to do exactly what I do. So put the stack right in front of you, all right? And you're going to take your right hand. For those of you who are observant, I'm going to do the opposite of what I say so that it's exactly what it looks like to you. So this is your right hand. Do exactly as if you do not go ahead of me, okay? You're going to take your right hand down and pick up the top cup and hold it in midair. Freeze. Take your other hand. All right? And pick up the second cup. You never have to touch the bottom cup because it's already where it's going to go. The first cup is going to go down next to it, and the other cup is going to go on top. That's called an up step. Everyone say up step. Very easy, all right? And then what you do is a down step. The same thing, two hands, one hand on top. It's going to slide down, and you're going to grab the other hand, and it's going to go up and over. All right? So watch carefully. I'm going to use two hands. I'm going to go one cup picked up. Then with the other hand, I'm going to pick up the other one and put it on top. And then I'm going to take one hand down and one hand up. If you practice that, what will happen is you'll notice my cups look like they're kind of going in a circle, right? You'll see how they start going in a circle like that. And that's what you practice. That's called up step, down step. Up step, down step. Now here's where it can get really fun. When you add a second set of cups, and you do what's called a 3-3, three, three, okay? So, you don't have enough to do this, so I just want you to watch, because we're going to get to playing games. Because playing games is more fun than learning, right? So we're going to learn by playing. But in a 3-3, three, three, you're going to start on your left, which is my right, and you're going to do an up step. You go to the next pile, you do an up step, then you go back to the beginning, and that's important to always go back, down step, and then down step. So it's always up, up, go back for the grown ups. I go, because they know what that is. Typewriters, kids don't know what that is. So it's always up, up, down, down. All right? Now we can get really advanced. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six. When you really get into sports stacking, eventually you'll learn what's called the cycle. I'm not going to teach you, I'm just going to show you, kind of inspire you. Ready? This is called the cycle, where you do a three stack, and then you do a six stack, then you do a three stack, and then you do a down stack, down stack, down stack, and you bring those over, you do another six stack, and you do another six stack. I've got some sticky cuts here. Then you take those down, and then you do what's called the monster. No, it's called the ten stack. Look at that. And then you bring them down like that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a practice game in order to learn. So I need you to line up in the corner of your team color. Leave the cups right where they are. All right? Just go line up on your team color, and everyone's going to play this game. Leaders, if you could take three sets of three 
and just line them up on the line, all right? Good job. If they're up, put them down. If they're down, put them up and run back to the end of the line. Good job. All right, we got a good stacker here. There he goes. Use two hands. Use two hands. Good job, buddy. All right, there he's coming. There he goes. If they're up, put them down. If they're down, put them up. Run around the pin. Go to the end of the line. And good job. And he goes around the pin and back. Woohoo! Slides into home base. There we go. He's got one up. He brings these down. He stacks these up like a pro. Runs around the pin. And he look at him go. Just sit down. Get three cups on the floor. Get a stack in front of you and sit down. You can't find it. Doesn't matter what color you are. If you're wearing this you can't find a stack. Then you can grab one from the center. All right, everybody, get a stack. How many of you have done sports stacking in school? Some of you are familiar with it. All right, you guys need to spread out. You need to spread out. Okay, there's no room. Spread out a little bit. All right. I made a joke once I was going to join the World Sports Stacking Association. I found out there actually was such a thing. All right? It's the, the body that officiates the official sport. All right? Now, if you go on YouTube and you search for sports stacking, you're going to see some kids do what's called the official cycle. All right? I have a stupid cup there. It's an up stack, down stack of a 363, followed by two six stacks, down stack, followed by a 10 stack, where you grab five and four, you do a 10 stack, and then they down stack them, and they're back to the original 363. That's what's called the full cycle, okay? So if you really get into sports stacking, you're going to learn it. No questions right now. But we're going to start simple, because what a lot of people do when they sports stack is they, um, they think it's all about speed, so they go, So if you're sloppy, sloppy means slow. The other thing that they'll sometimes do is that they sit there and they do it with, with one hand, right? And that's also slow. So I'm going to teach you the proper technique to do it. So what you have to do is pretend that you're my mirror, and you're going to mirror what I do. So I'm actually going to do the opposite of what I say. When I say right hand, I'm going to use my left hand. I'm going to say left hand, I'm going to do right. So I'm, you can do exactly what I'm doing, right? You stand with two hands. Put your stand right in front of you. And don't go ahead of me, all right? You're going to grab the top cup with your right hand, all right? Notice I'm using my left. Pick it up in the air and freeze it right there. All right, then you're gonna grab the second cup with the other hand, and when you put your right hand down, you put the left hand on top, and boom, you got a stack, just like that. Okay, then the down stack, no question, just watch. Then the down stack, you do the opposite. You take your right hand, and you slide that down, your other hand puts up the other hand. Now, if you practice that, you'll notice it goes up in half a second, and it down stacks just as fast. In fact, it comes to the back going in a circle, right? That's the fastest way to do a three step, right? Now we're gonna do a game to practice because it's more fun to play than practice. But I want to show you one more thing. It's called the three three. That's a three step. There's also a six step, right? The six step you pick up a three and two, you drop up, drop up, and up, and you go down like that. All that's on the DVD if you guys buy your own sports steps. Now, in the three three race, which you guys will do, Little two advanced Spartans. You always start on the left and move to the right. I should say start on the left and move to the right. Because it's like reading a book. Alright, so you would do an up step. You would go to the next step, do an up step. But you always go back to the beginning, down the step and down the step, right? What you don't do is go up like this and then back down and then back down. And you also can't go like this. Alright, you can't do two stacks at once. So it's always up. Down, down. Same is true if you did a 3 3 3. You would go up, and then you would go up, and then you would go up, you'd go back to the beginning, and down, down, down. Now, those rules are important because as we play sports back in the game for one circle, if you break those rules, you're going to have to go back and redo it or start over. Okay? So, our first game is to have no winners, it's just going to be for practice, right? So, I need you to take your stack and go put it, in, just stack it as close to that back as you can, and go line up on your team line outside the square, all right? So just take the stack right there, it can be by itself, or on top of another stack of the same color, so we keep them sorted, and then go line up on your team line. We're gonna do a practice race, where everybody gets the race, 
And it's just to give you guys some practice in the up and down step, all right? Very simple, all right? Here's what you're going to do. First person, you're going to run out of the first step. Remember, using two hands, you're going to up step, all right? Um, if you can take the middle one and put it up, all right? Then the middle step, you're going to down step it, go to the opposite. You're going to run to the middle, to the next one, and you're going to put it up. Then you're going to run around this pin, run to the end of the line, and the next person, as soon as you see that they're here, you can go. So basically, if they're up, put them down. If they're down, put them up. All right? There's no winner or loser. We're just, but, but see how fast you can do it? If a step falls, say you just put this up, and you're running to here, and that falls, you got to go back and fix it. It's called fixing your fumbles. And then go back to here. You ready? We'll help you guys go. Mark set go. Alright, so he does it up. Run to the next one, stack it down. Alright? And the trick is not kicking the cuffs as you step over. Good job. Yeah, that's all, folks.